Hey YouTube, I hope you're having a really nice Tuesday. It's Dak the Trainer here. Last episode, we actually got flights. So I'm gonna start right now onto my Star Ravia so I can fly around. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you enjoy my new style, style commentary on like certain boss battles and stuff. I feel like I'm, I'm just like swinging towards my personal life instead of the gameplay, which, yeah, like if I'm on a route, like I'm gonna get rid of quicker to like, I think. Should I go a snipe 60, 60, 90? Ooh, foo, 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 foo. I'm gonna get rid of um, wing attack actually because wing attack's pretty generic in it. So if I really want to get it back, I could just get it back easily enough. So um, I feel like I was from swing towards toward, um, towards more of the commentary instead of the gameplay, which I am gonna be starting some vlogs in, in the future. But uh, I'd rather stay where I am right now. Also, these stones are for a certain event, which I shall be showing off in the far future. So uh, last time we actually beat Team Rockets whilst we're heading off into route 14 and we're going to be finding some trainers so literally t t t t next city it's about it's a few i'd say a good two hours playing so uh but thank god we got super speed but runs at a thousand percent so maybe we can get there in the next episode and of course skylight dies so it's gonna be up to daco just to solo a little bit which is cool okay this cave here i just want to point this out he says something about it just keeps chipping away at this rock, okay? It's fascinated by unknown. So, he says he's said, he said he's gonna race you, whoever gets the first unknown or what have you. So, the more unknown you catch, the further back he goes, pretty much. So, if you catch all 26 unknown, plus the question mark, exclamation mark, he'll be at the end, and then you can go and explore over there. It's kind of a ball, like, it's not worth it. And the Magmarizer, great item used to evolve a magma, magma into a ma magmortar so oh i keep forgetting it's fucking tired god damn it and cranidos died boom so like, like literally when you at this stage of the game you like i have to fight every train in this game because of uh a ride on how oh, nice uh because of like the pokedex sake and stuff so so if i do miss one i'll probably just um like going around for the train myself and then jump and quit or something when that if it does happen, but I don't think it will. Of course, for a poly polygon, we could have got a few episodes ago right there. Oh, another guy. So, as you can see, like with super speed, this this just flies straight by. There's about 20 trains on this route, so. Because super speed, you can literally just run straight past them. So, I'm actually going to fight these trains up here as well whilst I'm here because I'm experiencing it. I love me some experience. Like I was watching this one guy and he, he actually fought every train. It took him like 200 episodes to beat Pokemon. And he fought every train in the game but without super speed and there's the evolutions. Always cool. So that was interesting to say the least. It's like a guy trying to fight. I'm gonna fight. So yeah. Dusk just skill. I love the skill. Kadabra. Oh, disabled. Ha! I'm guessing there's an item over here. I, I'm even gonna check on the Dowser machine to be honest. Just my senses are telling me that there's something over here, guys. Cabos, great item. That's nice to pick up, but yeah, I can just sell it if I wanted, so. Free money in it? Free money. With a little slag here, with blunt hair. And a wormer dam. With protect, 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 protect. Come on, let me attack! God damn it. Uh, another one. So uh, she's gonna have the three variations of Wormer Dam. It's the evolve of a Burmy. It's it's just like graphical changes. I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect the stats. I might be wrong, but I don't think it affects the stats. Anything around here? There is a thing right there. Jesus, it's crazy. You don't realize like how many hidden items there is actually in this game. So you actually play yourself. So if you do want to get this game, just look, look it on eBay or something. You can probably get it for like a tenner or something or ten dollars. So it's a pretty old game now, and if you're wondering, I'm just like spamming by it just because it's, it's easy, isn't it? And I'm probably gonna take the XP show off Daco and put it on uh, my Star Ravia to be honest, because Daco is just the old star, the old spark. It's fine. And a Goldine. I win! Yay! And a max of power, always a good item. So and then we have literally just circle the entire route round. I wish you could surf, but we can't. God damn it. 
So uh, now that we can actually head downwards now, like I've fought everyone, which I'm happy about. I can't believe we fought like the evolutions, I don't remember that. But I love the evolutions. Like everyone always chooses like, no one ever gives a big power any love. Which is kind of sad. We're in a big root. I'm Groot. If anyone gets that, then the reference, then big ups to you guys. Love your faces. Oh, I can come with. So, on the left coming up, we are at the Valor Lake Throne. This is like, um, there's one near, ooh, there's a legendary. Ooh, the Red Gyarados Easter Egg Crystal there. So, um, the whole thing, what I was on about then. Uh, oh, I can't look. Yeah, there's a legendary Pokemon there, which we, all should, we should be encountering in the future. Also, it's an item right here. Put to get into a sweet, which is sweet. Is sweet. I think I'm funny. So let's talk to this girl. She happened to have lost her key, and obviously we found it. Yeah, this is not required. This is like a little side quest you can do, but uh, why not help her out? We might get to better a little bit. You know, just a tip. Just a tip, guys. Just a tip. Oh, oh. A white flu, um, it heals confusion, I'm pretty sure, so. I'm gonna, let me just check this. A white flu is just a great item in general. It means, like. Let's have a look. Oh, it makes white Pokemon appear. There's one for confusion, there's one, there's the Poke Flute for sleeping. There's a lot of them, like, and they appear in loads of games. Like, we can't look past him, I'm pretty sure, because this is a power outage or something. Yeah, so. So we can't go there for a while, but I'm sure they'll pop back one day. Maybe. Maybe. PP up, nice one. Not like uh, a penis up, just a PP up. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to explore these houses because you can do that later. If you really wanted the game, you could do it yourself. Not sound like a, a massive penis, but uh, you could do it yourself. Ooh, has it got anything to say? Oh, yay, I can rest. So that means, uh, Star Age can tank a little bit. Oh, now I'm gonna switch, switch my Pokemon out. No, I'm rather, I'm gonna take the XP share off Daco and put the XP share on, um, Star Ravia. Yep. You, you was all in the berry? I had no idea. I think it's been all in the berry since the start of the game, and I had no idea. I am really oblivious to stuff like that. And a yellow shard. Yellow shard to follow any new moves. Like, it's kind of like mushrooms, to be honest, but. I am honestly not a fan. It might be me. And they uh, will find some little children. I release. I release. The water ring is really good, which she used. The whole um, aqua ring, whatever it's called. Shellos. I know Pokemon have different variations, which is cool. And, uh, I mean, it's Shell Oh my gosh, the two variations of Shellos. Yeah. Shellos is a really unique Pokemon. Alright, compare it to like um, a Marsh Storm with its stats and stuff. So. Oh, you don't want to fight me? Fight by me? Do you want to fight me? Oh, just reel it in. Just keep reeling those jokes. I think my puns are pretty good. Ooh, and a Gyarados. Oh, ho, ho. ouch. Ouch, Charlie! Ow! So, uh, this is not going well for me. I just wonder why I did that because I didn't want Skylark to die yet. Oh my god, Skylark is evolving. Who saw that coming? I promise not to fast forward this one. But uh, it's evolved into one of my favourite Pokemon in this game. Where it pops up. And here it is. I thought it evolved at level 36 to be honest. But um, this is Star Raptor. I'm confused with um, like a Raptor in general. In close combat, definitely learning. It's a great fighting type move. and. It's good to have in case of an emergency, so I'm going to be getting rid of Quick Attack. Just because of Close Combat is a great move, like I said. It can pretty much destroy most, uh, most bugs. Well, it can destroy most Pokemon, to be honest. Like, fire, like... So it's a good, it's good move. Good move. Let's this house. What do you want to say? Okay. So you, you, you fought for just how he's right there. Okay, oh, okay, it's a bit forward, isn't it? What the hell is he doing? I, I'm confused. Yep, I know. Okay. 
Okay, thank you for telling me to start thinking about you. But um, now that we're on Route, 20, route 213, I think it's the perfect time to end off the episode. If you guys have had a great video, please like it and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to see you guys in the next video, but I'm not tips crazy. Uh, but seriously, um, goodbye. I hope you have a great Tuesday. I know I will. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.